bad, like getting concerning at this point. The truck is mad at us. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we sold everything we own and we just travel full time with our rock crawler, two kids and two dogs. And today was moving day. We were leaving Alabama, made a wrong turn, got on a scenic parkway road, something or other <laughs> that we just didn't have no business on as long and as heavy as we are. And it was some steep grades and uh, stay tuned to see what happened. It didn't work out well for us hoping there's no permanent damage and i'll certainly do a follow-up video i've never seen that sign before no. what does that mean oh well that rv came through there that rv's not 63 feet long oh jesus like a 90 degree turn oh. i know my truck Oh, wow. No, you don't look at that. <clears throat> Is this the curve? This ain't Whoa, what's up there on the cliff? I can't look at it. I think that's a railroad. They bad at all. I mean, they must not have no, to. No, they hyped that up. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like back when we was in... Uh... <laughs> Staying near Pigeon Forge, man. There's some curves through there that was like white knuckle using both lanes, campers touching one side, trucks in the grass on the opposite. I thought that that was going to be like reminiscent of when we were on that road to Harlan, Kentucky, and we got on a road that we should have never been on. And this is like that was a letdown. I'm still not 100% sure this is a road we were supposed to be on, but we've been winding beside this river for a while. So it's never good whenever you turn on a road and there's this big yellow warning sign that says uh, attention truckers. Uh, this highway it has steep grades and sharp curves. Use alternate routes. We, uh, I checked the alternate route and it looked just as bad so we don't. <laughs> Are you sure you checked the alternate route? I, whatever the GPS was telling me. I should have looked at this before we got into this. Yet again, we don't plan well. <laughs> so, I don't know. So far, the road is straight, but I feel like we're about to get... we got 13 miles on it, so... Anything that says scenic byway is usually pretty curvy. Beautiful views, but probably not something that we want. How long are we? 63 feet. 63 feet. A truck and camper on. So we'll see how this goes. I was like, this ain't as the great as some of the other ones we've done, and it just kept going. And it's like, oh no, it's gonna keep going up. The truck is mad at us. And <laughs> Philip's not very happy either. We still got a lot of grade to go. <clears throat> yeah, it's um, blinky, blinky mad, so we had to stop. Try to let it cool down. Because it still keeps going up. We don't know how long. That long. I don't, know. I don't know how much of that is uphill, but I all I see is hill up ahead. So the warning was correct, and the medium duty 
is not happy, but it's coming down. Yeah, but like, what happens when we get out west? You know, like I, I gotta figure out how to make this thing run cooler. I think we're gonna put a radiator in. Yay! Can you tell how steep something is from the video. No. I was gonna shut her back down at 220 because it just takes so long to cool down. I think you're almost there though. Is, yeah. Oh no. Never mind. We're we're gonna be shutting her back down. Oh my god. Well, I think I made it a quarter of a mile since pulling over the last time. I, I pulled over since there was an area to pull over, but looks like I got another mile to go of this. And the truck is hating life. All right, well, I talked to some people that said we still got a bit of a climb. It's gonna go up another 300 feet in elevation. I'm at 185. My tramps at not the tram. Transmission's at almost 200. It was at 210. Here we go. Apparently, there's another parking lot up here. Just to go right back down. Oh yeah. The thing is, she made it. 224. Uh, this is a super popular road, like hikers, car enthusiasts, motorcycles. So. Nice view. Look, right look it's a car meet. It's a view. <laughs> yeah, that was the worst one yet. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen the uh, transmission get over like 170 something, 175, 176. We should have heeded the warning. But it's... did we die? <laughs> did the truck die is what I was worried about. <laughs> I'll check the oil here, make sure I don't have no uh, coolant mixed in with my oil. I really regret not planning my route better. Now I've had to stop for the downhill side. My brakes are smoking like crazy. This is, uh, this is bad, like getting concerning at this point. I'm sure I've smoked these brakes now, so there's no telling how much that's gonna cost. Well, we made it. That was a stressful tow. I had to pull over several times before it getting hot going uphill. And the brakes smoking going downhill. It's cooled back down. The brakes feel all right. Um, our camp area is beautiful. 
Although we're next to a Mercedes and I'm sure they're gonna be questioning how they wound up beside the white trash from the Carolinas. But uh, we're getting all set up. My outdoor kitchen has suffered some. When we stocked up at Costco, I guess all the bouncing. Alabama's roads are awful, but uh, couldn't take that. But it's a simple enough fix. So I'm not gonna make too much of a big deal about it. How beautiful is this? Nice and relaxing. Definitely gonna enjoy my coffee sitting here. And that is just a short walk from my camper. It was a very stressful day. I need to look over the truck and make sure the brakes are actually all right. They feel okay. They're all still very hot. So I'm going to settle in and try to enjoy the rest of my evening after a pretty rough drive. I will not be ignoring those signs again in the future when they say tight curves and steep grades because uh, I regret going down that road. Oh well, lesson learned.